The countdown is on. With only days left before the start of school, crews are hard at work preparing for the big day. Our summertime is the time where we get to do things that uh, we really can't or prefer not to uh, do it while students are in, in class. So it's a, a pretty busy time for us. Construction crews are completing projects at a number of schools, including Crockett Elementary, where they are adding on eight classrooms. So we have 30 to 40 different tradesmen here, electricians, plumbers, HVAC, brick, roof, uh, ceiling grid. So it's, as you can tell, it's moving along just well. At Centennial High, workers brave the sweltering heat as they replace the roofing and cover the brick with sheets of metal to prevent leaks. Further south, Crews are adding portables to Heritage Middle School to help with the influx of new students. Fortunately, a new middle school, which is set to open in two years, will help relieve any overcrowding at Heritage Middle. And if all that sounds like a lot, maintenance director Mark Samuels says it's just the tip of the iceberg. We're doing a lot of painting. The painting crew has been very busy. All the fire alarms need to be tested. In addition to that, the, uh, the, the uh, fire sprinkler systems in each building need to be, need to be tested and inspected uh, for, for proper operation as, as required by law. The summer break is also a busy time for the folks in the transportation department. With more than 200 school buses on the road each day, the transportation department is working all summer long making sure each and every vehicle is running properly. Uh, this time of year, it, it uh gives us an opportunity to perform uh, heavy maintenance on our buses. Transportation Director John Hancock says his department works all summer long making sure everything is up to speed. You're going to see our driver's training program which is in pro progress and it's one of the best, if not the best in the state. You're going to get a chance to look at our dispatches and uh, the team here in the office that uh, back up these, these many drivers that are out there in the field in the day-to-day -day operations. Of course, with the cost of gas, the Transportation Department is also working extra hard this year to make sure the bus routes are as fuel efficient as possible. We go back and look at all of our routing every year and be sure that we're maximizing our assets, uh, especially with the cost of fuel. This day and time, we're trying to be assured that we're maximizing those to the fullest extent. The cost of fuel is also affecting the Child Nutrition Department, which was recently forced to increase the cost of school lunch. If anybody reads the paper, that's pretty easy to understand uh, because with fuel prices up, truck deliveries up, uh, everything. The Child Nutrition Department spends most of its summer making bids for food, repairing equipment, training new employees, and coming up with menus. But there will be a few changes this year, including a new type of milk bottle and the addition of a fruit and vegetable bar at Fairview Elementary. When they get to the dining area, they will have unlimited supply of fruits and vegetables. So they can go up to the fruit and vegetable bar and have all they want. Williamson County Schools is also teaming with Keep Williamson Beautiful to increase the amount of recycling at each school. That way we'll be, we'll be saving the landfill. The schools can make a little bit of money because they will get paid for the plastic and it's a win-win deal. So from maintenance to transportation to child nutrition, it's easy to see how much hard work goes into preparing for the start of school. And with classes right around the corner, you can bet Williamson County Schools will continue doing everything it can to make the 2008-2009 school year the best ever.